Hey everybody, this is Elsworth, and welcome back to Sea of Stars! We had our little bit of story last time. I don't have I don't have the achievement for all the stories yet, so maybe we'll eventually get those, and I don't know what this Oh. Okay. That'll move these. And this rotates through those. Okay, so we just need to rotate through them and actually just move them to where we want them. So something like this would get us the treasure up there. Okay, yeah, simple puzzles, pretty decent to do. I need to turn my headphones up because I cannot hear the game. There we go. I try to keep the game volume low so I don't have to adjust it in post <laughs> mainly. So let's just go across here and see what we have. So this one just needs to come down here. Then we rotate to the next, down. Then we rotate to the next, that one's fine. And this one just needs to come down. I don't know what happens if we just drop off of these. Oh, <laughs> I should have actually looked at what I was looking at. There we go. This needs to go up. So does the next one. For some reason, I was just being a dunce. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so pretty simple enemies so far in here. I mean, we are a little bit strong, so I think we'll be fine. So bonka bonka to shut down Spider Boy. And we just go for throat, I guess. On you. Yeah, we're going to try to take out Spider Boy first. Simply because we don't want him to get an action next turn, and we can't stop either of the other two in this turn. Ow. So that one does AoE, so it's a little bit more of a threat. So you can shut down this one, or I can try to go after you in two turns. I think I'm going to try to go after you in two turns. Simply because I don't want it to pull off an AoE. Laser Orb. Lorb. Oh, it's Lorb, like lob. Ah, oh, that's so damn corny. <laughs> okay, little Lorb, what do you have? And I forget, what element are you? Yeah, you're shadow with that. And it is vulnerable to shadow. Interesting. Skills, let's go ahead and we will dash strike just to shut you down. always forget when the timing on that is because I am derp anyway hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far it's doing okay as far as numbers on a side channel go but oh what the oh where are we going are we going down yeah, it looks like we're going down very sci-fi almost like future in chrono trigger kind of things going on here Pretty oh, we've got the traps. Okay, do we actually want to fight these? Probably do, just to get the XP, but... I want to see what this does first. That gives us an elevator down, I think. Yeah, let's fight these. Hi, guys. We're ready for a fight. I need to kill this one first, so let's moonerang it. Just to shut it down and then we'll beat the crap out of it. I thought about doing these like more heavily edited. Like if I have to get up from the computer, I will sometimes edit that out. But generally speaking, these are unedited. I have thought about passing them on to a friend and say, hey, would you like to edit this? And see what you could do with it. If you could make it more schnazzy. But I'm not sure how people would react to that. Is there anything over here? Nope. Just force fields and nonsense. Cute. Off we go. Oh, okay. So it's an elevator. Further up. Oh, and this is back where we were. Okie dokie. I see what you're smoking, game. 
Let's go ahead and save just to be on the safe side. <laughs> save, save. Yeah, I'm just, it's a stupid joke. Deal with it. And I think we actually could just go back down if we wanted to. And yeah, we can get in our balls. But I don't think I want to. I want to keep progressing forward. That is my goal. I want to beat the game so I can review the game. <laughs> that is one of my rules for like full reviews. If I do a first look, that's different. But full on review, finished game, and beaten by me. I know that it's... It's going to probably get a little hard for me to delineate between some of them, though, because I'm actually going to be doing some more, not necessarily talking head proper, but I mean, I guess they would be doing more of is this locked. That is locked. But doing more of the USA, I guess, would be the proper term for it but not quite as involved as three hour long videos. West Wing sustained heavy damage after collision with an asteroid. Area in lockdown for crew's safety. Override. Denied emergency measures may not be overridden. <laughs> overridden with my knife. That wouldn't work in most situations. Most security settings. I keep thinking these square things are chests. Well, that... Oh, it did it catch the meteor? Looks like it did. And then we jump down. Yeah. These things look like they are having a day. Okay, skill-wise. Let's go ahead and... Press an arc as many as we can. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get all three of them shut down, but I think we can shut down two of them. Okay. So you'll get your Lorb off. Got the timing on it. Haha. -ha. Okay. So now we just have two turns of just waylaying on these. So let's try to take you out first. That did not work. Okay. I guess... Grab that, go after you. Because he's vulnerable to that. Combo Arcane Moons? Yeah, let's see if that actually kills them all. Eat my moon. I mean, we might as well be using the... I, I think we're supposed to be using the combos a bit more often than I have been. Just for the sake of balance. And you need to be swapped out for you. I, I I just don't feel like having him in my party since he abandoned us. So. Okay, so there's one. Okay, I think I see what we're supposed to be doing. That goes this direction. Don't know what that one would take us to. I think that takes us... Yeah, that takes us back. And this swaps the position of that. Okie dokie. And then this should do what? I guess that opens the door? No, us just being near it opens the door. Okay, so that opens that one on. And gets us a bunch of things that we have to fight. Sweet. Nice. And I want to get over to the left there. So we have to do the slow walk. This is definitely a hell of a view, though. Bark mesh cape and a rosewood cork. That is better gear for him. And I don't think, yeah, we can't equip the Spark Mesh Cape. So we can equip Spark Mesh Armor. Cloudy Simulacrum and Spark Mesh Cape. Seems fine. Oh, I should have clicked on this. There we go. Zoop. Back to our real fight. Uh, let's go ahead and do the fight. 
Come on, you guys. Spawn on me. Spawn. Thank you. Not real scary, but we'll be fine. I do wish that combo... There was a way to keep combo meter between combats. It'd make life... It'd make it flow a little bit better. Hey, that wasn't too bad. We just don't want to have to deal with either of them. It's free XP either way. And that was one of the few encounters in this that didn't give us a crap ton of XP. Which is a little bit odd. Okay, are there encounters in here? Probably soon. Okay, so that is a power thing. It's probably going to be one of the same. Yep. Do we just... Oh, okay. Oh, I see what we're supposed to do. Hoopa. Okay, so this goes down there. And then we go ahead and get rid of that. So yeah, this is just altitude adjustments. Oh, I can't hop off there because it's in the way. Let's see. So that one just goes in. Bloop, there's one. We sweep it, switch this over to get that. Two. And in we get. Break the lock. Just had to make sure the button didn't do anything else. Okay, so there's the teleport back for the elevator. Ooh, another save spot and a chest. Hey, music sheet seven. Weren't we missing? I think we have some that are beyond that. But I am not certain. Kind of sad that as we get further into the game, we're getting more and more situations where the enemies just spawn on us. This one was not one, but it is definitely one that's actually gotten kind of like mildly irritating. And one poison left to do. So we will swap you out for Rashawn. Because you do poison. That'll just straight up shut him down. Now, the other one should just do a single attack. And then it might have, yeah, it charges up a Crescent Moon. Definitely going to swap you out because we don't want you in our party. <laughs> We're vindictive, what can I say? So away with you. And yeah, combat, not too bad. We're getting to the point where I just have kind of a rhythm going. I think I could do this without the auto heal after battles. I'd just be going back and healing way too often. So this is going to take us to the next segment where we'll get another elevator and a teleport back. Hopefully we don't have to do this too many times. Otherwise that could get a little bit grating. Oh yeah, question pack. Oh, we don't... We don't have to go back? Okay. It looked like a elevator pad. That's all it, all it looked like to me. We're definitely going up high. Jeebus. Okay, so this is locked down. Ah, oh, there's the other elevator. Okay. And this should teleport us back to that first room, which will get us on another elevator up. These elevators are just OSHA hazards waiting to happen. But... And for some reason, I've been playing a lot of games with elevators in them, like Metroidvanias and all that kind of stuff. For some reason, I have just been hooked on games with actual elevators. 
Okay, so this... Uh, we have one green dot. What is... Did we just spawn two things at once or something? I don't know. Okay, skills. Yeah, we're gonna go full ham. Moonerang. We'll probably have to recover her mana, but it's fine. I think this was supposed to be two encounters. Okay, that works. Unfortunately, you're going to lorb and do like 100 and something damage, but still. I think we'll be fine. I don't think we would have been fine versus the lorb things if, if we didn't have this equipped. You are the first one. The green thing is telling us where we are. I don't think we... Yeah, we can't go back. There is a giant rock next to this one. I don't want to have to deal with you guys being weird, so let's go with you. And we will shut Drone down. Just so it doesn't kamikaze on us. And we will set you down to half. It's still going to get an attack on me, but it's better than getting blown up. Ha, I blocked all your crap, dude. Yink yank. That's kind of cool looking, I guess. Let's go after you. So we don't have to think about you next time. A bonk. Skills. Actually, what's our... We have Solstice Strike. I think this will actually kill it. Yeah. As long as we're getting rid of at least one per turn, I'm happy. I'm getting better at that. That was bad on my part. Skills. Let's go for... No, we're going to go for an attack. Bonk. Oh, I failed horribly. Gonna have to figure out another way to stop you. Which means knocking your block off. <laughs> just murder him. It's better than just cutting down on the locks anyway. Hey, you got new weapons now too. Sweet. Wait a minute. Yeah. Everyone's getting up there. Hundreds. Bong. Yeah, some of these pathing things are just, they feel kind of convoluted. I get having puzzles and stuff like that, but whenever you're having to do multiple jumps through an area. You see, that felt, that felt superfluous. It felt like it was just kind of wasting my time there. So we'll grab that. 3D printer vending machine online. Please make your selection. Ah, so we, we can buy stuff from it. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. We're looking okay. And we'll get rid of the stuff that we're not going to be using. So that works. 834. Okay, so Spark Mesh Armor, we could use another one of. Spark Mesh Cape, sure. And then we have all the stuff that... Oh, Surf and Turf. Yes. 9 MP to party. So I'm going to items... Where's our just straight MP boost? Yeah, let's eat the strudels. And we'll get Pandores. Because getting those ones that give us party buffs are actually a lot better for me. 
Okay, so that one is ally, ally, party. So yeah, tataki is the one that we want to be cooking rather than gourmet burger. Someone loves their food, by the way. So we're going to eat the gourmet burgers. We'll have tataki for the party. We'll have tandoori for the party. Yeah, we'll do one more tataki. If it'll let us. I don't know if we have the resources for it. We do. It's just a good group heal. Because it's a decent amount of life. It's a little bit of MP. It gets us right back into the fight. And it's frankly... Honestly, better than the Pandora because it does healing at eight rather than just nine to everybody. We'll do one more. But we'll use the Pandora first. Pandora's box. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, someone loves their food. Because you can tell that a lot of uh, attention went into doing the pixel art for those. Hi. It's what? The catalyst. Intruders in the command center. Engaging combat mode. It's going to be a robot. No, it's just a turret wall. Great. Several turret walls. Okay. So those only have 110 life. So let's go ahead and beat the crap out of them. They're going to get a shot every turn, I think. This looks like it would be a hard fight. So yeah, we're going to take out the right side first. So that's one side down. I did not time any of those properly. I don't know if we get to bring our orbs with us between fights. Ouch. Thankfully, this is not a large group of enemies. Do we bring the orbs with? I don't think so. Nope. So that means we might heal between them. No, we, we get to keep our combos and stuff. Okay. Let's go for blunt and arcane blunt arcane and moon damage to a single target. And bounce. I think we go Soonerang. We want to build up the like ultimate combo meter as well. Well, that sort of worked. Skills. Uh, ooh, repair units. Oh, hell no. Repair units, go away. Okay, so there's one gone. Is it just going to repair itself? I mean, I'm not opposed to that, but... I'd rather it not repair anything. And what are you? A blaster. And since we don't get to keep those with us... Oh, it's resistant to poison. Okay. Got him that time. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll go after... I'm kind of sad that we don't heal between them. If we don't get to keep our orbs... Kind of sucks. Ah, Sword, Sun, and Venom, Elbow Loop, Single Target, Blunt, Venom, and Arcane, High Damage versus One Target. I think we're going to just attack that one. We're going to use our combo. Actually, no, not quite yet. We're using the... Yeah, it doesn't carry over to the next one, I don't think, unfortunately. Nope, it doesn't. Sweet. We do need to do an AoE heal. 
So you just get to do a normal attack. Resistant to her. Okay, so you are going to do combo, Mending Light. To move up the rainbow bar. And top us off, which is perfectly fine. We may need to swap in Rashawn after this, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, it's just resistant to like a lot of our attacks. I'm not sure why. And on to the final battle, I think. I thought there were only two walls. Yeah, there were only two walls. Okay, so we need to start building up things. So arcane moons, I think. Yeah, arcane moons. Yeah, we'll go with those two. And take out the entire wall if possible. Probably not. It's not gonna do over 100 damage to each of them. Yeah, it's just uh, doing a bit of damage. Let's see, get rid of the missile boys first gonna give us a heal wall and I don't care if he takes some damage I'm trying to time it but I'm doing horrible at it arcane moons yeah we'll do another arcane moons this is probably gonna be like 80 something damage ouch all blasters. No, stop healing him. But we are at full combos, so skill-wise... Uh, do we have anyone that we haven't seen the ultimate of, by the way? I don't think we ever saw... What's-his-face's combo? Um, Garl. But I think I want to go for hers. Go for your ultimate attack! Vespertine cannons. Just because we're in the middle of space. I want to see how this works. Boom, boom, boom. Doesn't really change anything. I think it would have been awesome if there was like an alternative layout for it. Oh, and now we've got central boss fight. The catalyst. Skills. Let's go for you. Let's go for Venom Flurry. Just to see how much damage we can do. I'm terrible at this one. Hundred and eighty four, that's not bad. Oh, it just rearms itself. Cute. Uh Yeah, let's moon ring. This is gonna be a long fight, I think. That was horrible on my part. I didn't even get all of them once. Just need to do AoEs. Skills, let's do Sunball. Yeah, we'll do a Sunball there. Two, three, four. I get rid of one and give them two healers. Can we actually Crescent Arc all three of those? We can. We didn't get rid of the central one, but I wonder what happens if all there are are healers. Hey, you just heal yourself. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so no, we don't want... We don't want to leave the healers alone. They will heal shit we don't want them to do. Okay, X-Strike, everybody. Just keep the combos up. Okay. 
Let's go for Solstice Strike. Not as great of damage as I hoped. We need to get one more combo. I think we'll save the combo for whenever we bring this guy down again, the like ultimate combo. We'll just be doing our other combos along the way. Oh yeah, that thing's resistant to it. Let's go after these. Because that'll bring up the healers, I guess. I need one more pip to do an AoE heal, which I think I will do, but... Go after you. Brings the healer down. Okay, so there's our combo for Mending Light. Get as much as we can go there, and now we have our ultimate. We will hold on to that. There you go. Yeah, as long as we get rid of the healers first, I think we're fine. Definitely going to be one of the longer battles, I think. They're just focusing him down. It's ridiculous. Okay, so we have that. Yeah, those blasters just really don't like Zale. Okay, so now we have three charges. See how they're just specifically targeting him? Ridiculous. Okay, so there's our two pips. We can do another heal if we need to. Goodbye, me. Or we could bring out Rishon. Uh, let's do... Let's actually do the X-Strike, I think. Yeah, just do as much damage as we can. Okay, so they're almost dead. If we get a good Crescent Moon, we should be fine. Uh, you. Not enough. Good lord, my guys. Skills. We're going to do a Moonerang. Yep, just start in on him. Okay, we got rid of one. We probably need to build up our heal again. Or bring out Rashawn. I think we need to bring out Rashawn. Really don't want to. For some reason, I just... He abandoned us. We are taking quite a bit of damage. I definitely have to heal more if I was doing this the other way. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's just you? Fine. I probably should have gone after the one on the right. But either way, they're all going to die. Okay, so time for the Wombo Combo. Skills. Ultimate. Actually, no. We do... Combo. Arcane. Sun. Yeah, we do Arcane Sun. For 159. And you do your ultimate fully charged. Luana's Might Retribution. The moon is taking revenge on them for blocking out the sun.
They're going to do a lot of damage because I took all those charges. Yeah, 349. That's quite a bit of damage. It's a level up too, I think. Hours waning. Sarai, are you okay? Oh, this is the thing that turned them into robots. <coughs> I'm guessing that's a dweller there. Soul curator. Let's check the control module. Has to be what's creating the clouds, but... Never seen anything so intricate. Cedric, tell me what... You've got something. Okay. Negative. Encryption level too high. <sighs> Say we just blow it up. It'll stop making clouds. My people were builders and magicians. The wonders of technology are a mystery to me. We were so close. I beg your pardon, a word if I may. It's an AI core. Hi guy, what's your story? Morning Glory. Please, one moment. I am not evil. I was forced to operate within the Catalyst against my will. And I must say I had quite an awful time of it. Can you help stop the clouds? Believe me, I wish I could. But alas, the only function I have access to is the one used to attach souls to machines. My data bank does contain plenty of schematics related to Skybase, however. I wonder if I just... Boom. It worked? So, just a bunch of documentation and intricate designs. There's nothing in here about operating the console directly. I infer core functions based on blueprints and schematics. Recommended action. Find someone smarter. Sale and his friends at the Clockwork Castle. They're pretty good at this kind of stuff, right? Sure. Please be gentle. Sticking you in a pocket with everything else. There's a speedball station close to it too. Let us make haste. Okay, so yeah, we can't do anything with this just yet. Can't even just like try to blow it up. Can't turn into robots ourselves. Kinda sucks. I want to be Robo Warriors. Robo Solstice. Seems like it would be a good plan to me. Probably not the best of ideas, though. Really. Oh, and it takes us right back to the speed balls. Um, yeah, Sea of Stars entrance. So we've got to go back home and figure out some things that are going on. Bajoo. Okay, so that's what this thing was. Definitely gonna save. Okay, so we've got the AI core. We've got... What else? So our goal is... Yep, into the swirly bits. There's a few places here we have not been. Please tell me I don't have to do the little mini game again. Or if I do, there's going to be actually some point to it. Yay, no mini game. Okay, so what we need to do is go up to their home. Um, there might be a quicker way. I'm trying to think if there is. Oh, yeah, there was a shortcut through the woods here. It pops us out up here. It takes us straight into the Clockwork Castle.
We don't need it to be blood red. Thank you very much. I'm so glad it doesn't make us do the little side areas on this too. That That is a thing that some games don't do very well with. They'll have you like redo kind of like nonsense that you've already beaten a few times just to get through different puzzle zones. And yes, I am looting all the things. I think the only thing we've 100 percented is a fish. Which honestly is not difficult to do. And were they to the right or to the center? I think we'll just go center. Because going up the middle seems like a smart idea. I love the music here. It's quirky. So many clocks. Hi, guys. How have you been? My condolences, by the way. If Leithen Castle wasn't a death sentence for us, we would have attended the ceremony. It's okay. Don't worry about it. We need your help, Sale. What's well, the situation? Something about a machine. Machines too, in fact. Let's hear it. Back in Sir Eye's world... Recounting the entire story off screen. And reconnecting the sun and moon is our only chance at taking down the Dweller of Dread. And the Catalyst Colonel, I never thought I'd get to see it myself. I beg your pardon, but that's AI Core. I have no voluntary ties to the Catalyst. Find some way to help. There's always a way, but we will need some time. Oh, and I'll need the Lore Grimoire, too. To rip out the pages you need, I can't risk being unable to record something while you work. Can you give us a few days? Whatever you need, we take this opportunity to visit some old friends. Run along. Gather around, everyone. We have a lot on our plate. We've got a robot. Actually, no, just an AI core. What's up, my dude? Access granted. Now we have to access the top secret catalyst blueprints too. Act extract everything. Oh, we're not gentle. Basically the game's equivalent of gnomes. So this is the warrior cook's resting place. He always loved this tree. He once made some very tasty jam using its sap. Carl always made sure to prepare something for us. Aww. Your function was attaching souls to machines. That's your only function. Everything was automated. I never understood why I had to be made sentient. The whole thing was quite unsettling. While you're free now, might be time for a fresh start. Everything combined into the missing pieces we were looking for. Great, let's start building double time! What are we building? An airship? No. We already have a normal ship. Can't believe my eyes. I wish I had conversed with Rashan a bit more. His understanding of alchemy is unprecedented. Does it hurt when you get hit? Not in a physical way. It tugs at my mind, but my resolve is absolute. I should put in a word for you. Okay. I should put in a word for you. A word? After this journey is over, you may find yourself in search of meaning. Should that time come, seek the Elder Mist. Ah, so he's going to make sure he survives. Because <laughs> once the job's done, he's going to die. Unless he has a purpose. I'm not too sure that is. this is a good idea. It's for a good cause for once. You've seen the instructions too. There's no way they'll be able to reprogram Skybase on their own. Ah, they're going to turn themselves into robots so they can come with us. 
We will give you a new form. Come on, I want to save a world together. Plus, our design is pretty slick. You'll see. Load it up. Are they all just... Are they all going to go into the machine, or is it just one person? And no, we're not finishing the town. Good morning. Sleep is so much better here in Mirth. All right, let's go check. Maybe we should go check on Rashawn, too. Because dude's just fucked off into his little ho hidey hole again. And this one's looking for what? Innkeeper wanted, yeah. yeah. We have like farms and stuff. We can harvest whatever we want. It's not bad. I just don't feel like wandering around the entire world looking for an innkeeper. Yes, I could go look up a guide, but... Take you there whenever you're ready. Aye. We are. Are we are. Well, this is it. I'm ready. Oh, you're ready? We're not missing out on that. <clears throat> we only have one unit. Combine? We've always been together. No way we're letting you leave on your own. But in there, we'll... There's plenty of room for all of us. That'll do you some good, Sale. You've always been too serious. <laughs> Are you sure? We can't walk it back. You're not the only one who wants to help the Solstice Warriors. And what if you can't do it on your own? I mean, they, they have plenty of parts here. They could make multiple robots. That's an abomination. Just straight up. Basically, why not give yourself, each of you, a robot body? You made it, like, this entire machine in, like, a few days. We can wait two more days while you make enough bodies for everybody. <clears throat> I'm not sure I'd want 20 different voices in my head. They built another catalyst. Out they come. <laughs> it's locked. I forgot to unlock the exit. The release button. We should have put it here, in here, not on the outside. Major oversight. Not too bad, all things considered. Hey, don't do that. I don't see a release button. Oh, is that the big guy? Punch the pod really hard. Well, hi. That's a hell of a robot. Vision works perfectly. Smell too. Sorry. Okay, sail? Uh, yes, so you're sale. Well, partly. This could become a problem. We should unite. New name? Single name. Single speaker. Sale should lead. Yes. Well? Oh, I know. What's your name, Sid? Oh god, they've got a pose. <clears throat> For long we have toiled, honing our craft and perfecting our art. Countless wasted days led to a moment where finally, aboard our own creation, we can be free from this time prison. Together, as one, we will live on, our creation serving the good of the people. And also, the kicking of evil butts. I am Retribution. I am the ultimate engineer. I am genius incarnate. I am... 
The Artificer. Okay. That was so cool. Shh, let's sail do the talking. Long live the Artificer. Nice to meet you, Artificer. <laughs> he had to do the pose. Well, one thing led to another and a path to freedom appeared, so I mean... So we, I mean I, took it. Plus, I must go myself in any case. The task ahead is way too complex for you lot. No offense. I won't be a battle unit anytime soon, but I can hack Skybase alright. Just take me there and I will stop the clouds for you. Ah, we got a nickname already. This new life is too good. Dibs on the camera. Hey, we should offer to go before it gets awkward. Right? Sorry about that. Please, they're, they're going to do that a lot. I can pretty much guarantee it. Can we take the AI with us, please? I feel bad for it. It's... We just left it in there. It's sentient, guys. That is... That is dark if we don't go back and get it. That's kind of messed up. Okay, how many... Actually, I need to check one thing. How many of these do we have? 41. I think that does unlock a new thing. We'll worry about it later. I'll keep... I'll, I'll make a new save point relatively close to this or maybe near the end. I don't know. And I'll just do it there. Here, I'll, I'll do it right now, just so I know that I can go back and turn some in. I don't think we're going to find too many more. Okay. And it's sky base through the ball network. Hopefully we don't have to do a lot of fighting again. I'm kind of anticipating this one being, we go in here, turn it in, maybe get a little bit more lore. I'm surprised we didn't talk to the cloud people. So that one. And in we go. Hoping for the best. Probably going to get the worst. I see. I see, Wiener. How about faking this packet? Good thinking, Spike. And now here. Too easy. This can't be it already. Just try operating a door and we'll know. Oh, there's the other security layer. I'll take. It'll take more than that to stop us. How about this socket? It needs more arms. Credentials decrypted. Obvious fakes. Hey, look at that. <clears throat> Latent weakness. Simple marshalling job and... Bunch of people arguing to get into the... Thing. For them to fully disperse, but let's make sure the first ray of sun hits just right. I do love the multiple personality situation. Now we are controlling the weather. We're making it rain in his home. I mean, that works. Hey, straight on the moon. Hi, moon. Hello, moon. What is the... Swirly bubbles for. I can feel my power surging. You did it, Artificer. <laughs> Thank you so much, Artie. It was the right thing to do, plus it got us out of prison. 
I feel strong enough to go after the Dweller of Dread now. How about you, Zale? Yep, time for a cleansing. You know what? I think we should have time to do a fight. Got more tinkering to do over here. Be safe. Okie dokie. I don't know if this is going to be a big involved area or if it's just going to be a boss fight straight up. So let's save and let's find out. Because we are getting close to that hour in. If there's one more fight, we can squeeze it in. There's a whole dungeon, not so much. Off we go. All drop. I can only imagine how nauseating that would be to travel in. Or so I get nauseous at first person video games. That's why things like Unholy over on the Game Sampler channel only have about 30 minutes of footage. Because at 30 minutes, I felt like I was going to literally retch on my computer. Okay, so off to the moon we go. Uh, that way. Full speed ahead. There it is. Oh, uh, this is like, it looks like it's going to be a dungeon. The infinite abyss. At least we can swim. Can't swim up or down, apparently, but we can swim. Oh, well, that was down. We actually go back up these. No, this is a one-way trip. And I love Boost's animation for this. It's literally a little soda bottle. That is great. The dweller's here. I can feel it too. We've got your back. It's a common. It's, I've seen this hentai before. Actually, I don't watch hentai, but still. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's go for 1100. Yeah, we can just straight up beat him up. That's not too bad. Okay, so there's 72. Let's go for Wacky Wacky. Oh, wow. Okay, so their element is a good thing to do. We need to build up charges and go after the next one. I can't believe I crapped that up. Here's three. Let's see you take out the other one. Didn't kill him. Three life. Here comes some more. That's, yeah, I was going to say, that is not the only round on this. Too bad we lose the orbs. There we go. We're up two charges on it. Let's go for combo here. We're going to go for... Soonerang. And go after both of them. Hello. How you doing? Well, that's Cthulhu themed. Okay, so you have two turns. Skills, we're going to do Moonerang, and then we're going to just slashy slashy him. I messed it up. Damn it. Let's go... Attack, just lower the power on that. I do need to probably hit that one with solar. Jesus. Okay. Hmm. 
Am I just fighting? And a whack. That's kind of cool. Well, you're going to get swapped out to him because he has a healing. Just because I don't want to be one shot right away. Combo, we're going to do Soonerang, I think. Yeah, we'll do Soonerang. It chooses such a horrible location for it, too. That's what kind of irritates me. Let's go for attack to build up our combo. Oh, and he doesn't have the mana, so I guess it's time for party recovery. Tataki, go! Skills. Yeah, we'll just straight up attack you. We want to build up our combo. He's going to get a move pretty soon. Okay, so we just need to do a one point combo. That's not a bad one. Let's go for Abeyance. Just to see what it does to him. I don't think they're going to be prone to it. 53 damage, not bad. Skills. Time for the ultimate. While we can. I keep reading that skills will actually charge up their ability for it. And this is a fully charged. I, I think I like this one the most out of... I, they're all kind of cool looking, but I think I like this one the most just because it's gives me that holy vibe. Like that Final Fantasy holy. Okay, so there's that one. He's going to do his big sucky sucky. And he is moon and... So we do Moon Ring, then Double Slash. Okay, grab you. Double Slash on him to end that. 738's not bad. Arcane Barrage, multiple hits on a single target that also delays its turn, or do we do Arcane Moons? I think we do Arcane Moons. And you do another Arcane Moons. Because that does a good chunk of damage per hit. It's rid of the tentacles, too. Solstice Strike should do some elemental damage. Nope. I keep forgetting that is not elemental. That is literally just their base attacks combined. One away from getting another heal for him. Okay, so we've got two charges there. Yeah, let's just build up on it. Not too impressive on the damage of just, like, swinging for the walls, but... I think we'll be okay. Ooh! That is less good. Uh, let's go for... Skills. We're gonna do a Lunar Shield, I think. Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll do a lunar shield. Just because I can. Everyone in party, the party right now has... Oh, it's just you. Hi. Thankfully, you are fairly easy to beat up. It does take... does get rid of her lunar shield, but still. I think we'll be fine. Locked all your shit, my buddy. Three rounds. There you go. Combo. Yeah, we'll do that. There you go. Because we had the charge up, we were able to do an elemental damage with it. Well, ass. I don't have any way to deal with that. Oh, it's the tentacles that do... Oof. Okay. We're going to swap you out to you. Items. Let's go for... I guess we do the tataki. Yeah, that's just 155. This is 135. Yeah, we'll do this. Just so it doesn't go... She doesn't go down in one turn, basically. That's what I'm going for there. How much life does this bucket have? Swap you out. Him. Skills. Petrichor. Yeah, we'll do a Petrichor. heal there. We do have a full combo set up. You know what? I'm going to let him do his skills ultimate. This should still take out the ones on the side. Solon's light shall burn you to ashes. This gives me like Dragon Ball Z vibes on this one. Whereas the other one is Holy from Final Fantasy. The canon one is kind of unique. Feeling. Well, he's not doing too well. That was definitely did damage to him. Skills. Let's go ahead and do Lunar Shield again. Okay, so two turns... So we need two blunt, which is you. And we pull in that, do two slash. And start charging you up. Got to get the timing on it. So we have our full three combos there. That's fine. Let's go for... Combo... I don't want to do Soonerang whenever it's this stuff out. I think we're actually going to do Mending Light. But we're going to do, yeah, we're going to do it with you, Mending Light, everybody. Just to get that topped off, we still have one more combo point left to do. We have stuff on the ground so we can do the elemental combo with them. Solstice Strike! There we go. That wasn't too bad. We had to swap around a little bit, but it was a good fight. Oddly enough, felt a little bit better balanced than the last fight. Seal it! Destroy it! 
end it. We just took down a dweller. No eclipse. This power. I didn't doubt for a moment that we could do it. Same. I feel so much stronger. The thing we did when Garl was hit by the curse. I feel like I can control it now. It's been growing within me too ever since. I think we're ready. The moon then? Together. Oh, they're... Okay. They're putting the moon back. Surprised the moon didn't break whenever it crashed into a planet. Generally large, massive entities smashing into each other destroys them both. And now I'm curious what the people in the town have to say. Oh, hey, hi, Rapine. I mean, they probably already saw the sun coming through. And the clouds are gone, too. Yeah, you're now robots. You have eternal life. And your planet is slowly coming back. Teamwork, nothing like it. I mean, you should talk. <laughs> you have five people in your head. And we're glowing. Why are we casting shadows? With their true power unleashed, Valir and Zael can now fly on the world map. Move around with left stick and press A to lift off our land to clear surfaces. You can also explore previously inaccessible areas. When you feel ready, the Fleshmancer's Castle waits for the final confrontation! We have places to explore. Can we actually go just go through this? No, we can't just... Oh, we can! Yes, because there were places we couldn't get to on here. But that will be for next time. Bye.